And the devil doesn't care if you go to church as long as, as we're not talking about salvation and, and the blood of Jesus Christ and, and deliverance from sin. The devil, everybody go to church as far as the devil's concerned as long as, as uh, uh, folks as just have a... keep the chaos in your life and the turmoil. Yeah, and the, as long as you the rebellion. There's no repentance. The devil will let you go to church every Sunday. He's you know? fine with that, right. Yeah, but the Bible says that will be one of the 19 signs of lawlessness in the last days. In the last days, men will have a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. And the apostle Paul says, from such, turn away. Yep. In other words, if you're a born-again believer, have nothing to do with these people. Right. That's, oh. that's what Paul yeah. says, because these are signs of lawlessness, and we have to honor civil authority as Christians, uh, it, it, as a community of believers, we have to do, Paul says, do it more than other people do it. He said, so that people will see your good works. Exactly, because we as Christians, they will know we are Christians by our love. Some people will never pick up a Bible, but you're the Bible that they're going to read. Very you're, true. They, they're going to watch. You're, they're going to watch your every move and how you respond to situations, whether or not be it, and it could be as you're out on uh, on your job, the people that you work with, then you profess to be a Christian. They're going to watch you and see how you respond to to not only your boss, to other people that you work with. Maybe there's a situation, maybe to some other type of authority that comes into your workplace. They're going to watch your everything, and then they're and then when you don't do what you say as a Christian, you're supposed to do. They are going to come. They are going to attack you. Yeah, you know, in, in this book I wrote, uh, and we've got to wrap this up. I know we've already gone our half hour, Robin. But the eight neglected laws of success on in the uh, uh, chapter I did on on honoring uh, civil authority. Mm -hmm. I, I put a, a, little, a little section in this chapter on, on honoring civil authority, and it was called Ministers Beware. And let me read it to you. I said, ministers especially need to be cognizant of the ordinances that govern their churches and or their evangelistic ministries. There's never been a time in history that so many new laws have been passed to limit and regulate the activities and True. powers of the Christian church and evangelistic mm -hmm. ministries. As I travel the country, I see churches missing the mark in a thousand different ways due to ignorance of the laws of the land. Unfortunately, the government does not accept ignorance as an excuse for breaking the law. Right. If you do not understand the law yourself, I encourage you to hire someone who does to monitor the fiscal activities of your church and ministry. As time passes, you will hear more and more ministers that have found themselves in hot water because of what I like to call sloppy agape. Remember, yep. rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil. And I would like to say this in closing, Robin, for those that perhaps you have a ministry and you're watching us today as we talk about honoring civil authority, we actually hired uh, Mr. Pruse. Right. And, and uh, he is a powerful uh, advocate for the Christian ministries and he's a CPA, and he has a, a great knowledge of, of uh, the laws of the land. Right. And when we came out here to Dallas, we hired him. I said, audit us for a couple years. I want to make sure nothing in our ministry is out of order. Go through the books. I said, whatever it costs, audit us. Make sure we're clean. And I said, and we want you from now on to handle That's right. the fiscal side of our ministry and look after uh, our ministry to make sure that we're above reproach. Well, the reason I did that, I realized that the closer we get to the return of Jesus Christ, the more the government's going to want to attack it. ministries. They're going to want to fight ministries. You think they didn't allow you to have church during COVID? Yeah, things just, like that. Just, just wait. We're we haven't even begun to see what's going to happen when when things really get fired up. Yeah, and and trust me when I tell you, folks, you want to make sure your life lines up. With with uh, the law, everything that's within your power as a Christian to do, without, of course, violating your Christian principles, right. do it. Paul called it your reasonable service. That's right. And uh, make sure that you're not lawless, because we're living in a lawless hour, but we as believers, we have to be a light shining in dark yep. places. 